It's sort of raining behind you a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Should I should just keep rolling? Yeah. All right. I like that bit. After Kelly cut the camera there, you can very clearly hear raindrops hitting the recorder as I scramble to pack up my guitar. We ran as hard as we could to the nearest shelter to make sure that nothing had been damaged, which luckily it hadn't. And the next morning, we set off uh, into the weird, unearthly beauty of the state of Utah. That's a big flat rock. Mm -hmm. We hadn't really planned to stop at all in Utah, but at one point, we just had to pull off the highway because we couldn't help ourselves. We're here just north of Moab, Utah, and we've got a double rainbow, full double rainbow all the way across. I have never seen a rainbow like this. Unbelievable. I'm freaking out. Look at it. <laughs> After a brief overnight on the western edge of the Rockies, we then proceeded over the mountains the next day uh, through the treacherous I-70, which was recently being repaired from a rock slide, 
and uh, made it to our next waypoint, a campsite just outside of Nederland, Colorado. <laughs> hey! Here we met up with Bob Barrick, uh, an old friend of mine who I played in bands with as Kingdom Jasmine and Coyote Armada, and Sam Dorrance, a college friend who I sang a cappella with and who produced some of me and Bob's earliest music. Kelly and I are real city dwellers these days, and so at two in the morning, when the wind was at about 25 miles an hour and it started to hail, we called it for the night, pushed everything into the front two seats of the Subaru, and slept in the trunk. Oh, and my toes were falling asleep. Believe it or not, I was warm when we got up at 145. I was actually warm in the sleeping bag. I can't believe that. Even my, even my bare little feet were warm. Your bare little feet? So now I feel like my brain is full of Farts. beans. <laughs> it's not good. Maybe I'm just like not a camper, you know? The next morning, though, it was a beautiful sunny day, and we scouted a location near the Denver Science Museum. Here, we met up with Valley Lopez on drums and Stu Garney on bass, both of whom I had met playing a festival out in Montana back in 2016. Sure. <laughs> sort of. It's yeah. a new porno. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's Ooh, yeah. That works great. Are you going to play some music? Yes, yeah. We're uh, re recording a, a song for YouTube. A porno for YouTube. <laughs> porno for YouTube. Porno. porno for Pyros. Providing us. Recording a song for Pornhub. <laughs> okay. Great. Right on the <laughs> take, take your other arm towards me. Like... What is it? Hey, hey, hi. hey! Three times? Hi. Two. Hi, hi, two times. Hi. Hi, hi. hi. You What's the timing of it? You <laughs> take the first one. So. <laughs> I'm in karate. Hi, hi. Okay. Yeah, so. My name's Uncle G. That's fine. Thank you. All right, rolling video, take four. <laughs> <laughs> 